What's up guys, I'm Chesapeake. This is Chesapeake Cabin Outdoors. And we are inside a three meter bell tent from King Camp that I am testing. You can see the footprint here, quite large. I've got a King Camp stove tent, or a stove here. It is stainless steel. The legs fold up underneath. You got a removable ash bin at the bottom with a vent. Your standard damper there. You got some shelves that will fold up. This is removed so you can have direct access inside the firebox. You got a six foot stainless steel stovepipe with a heat diffuser here to keep the stovepipe from directly contacting the vent. There are four windows around the walls that zip up and then four vents in the peak as you can see and then there's a rubber boot on the top of this really substantial pole here with two attachment points for light or whatever else it is seam sealed quite well it kind of reminds me of the new style one tigress seam, seam tape it's really thick and wide um, it just rained quite heavy for two days straight and there's not a drop of water in here one point that I did think it would leak a lot is this secondary pole here that gives you a little bit of room going out there is a Kind of like a little peg that sticks up through a grommet with a rubber cap on the top so i was thinking that water would run down and maybe get underneath of that little rubber grommet and tap cap but it did not and this stayed bone dry there are a couple thread ends here but not loose threads at all this zipper is thin but these ones down here are really quite heavy duty with large tabs I would have liked to seen a like a paracord type zipper pull to hold on to but I will add some orange paracord loops on these to really make them easy to find in the middle of the night this is a PVC really thick PVC floor with a zipper that goes all the way around the bottom so you can, can disconnect the floor from the tent body and then these side walls can be rolled up and fastened around here with these loops so this would all be open if you wanted a lot of air coming in this is the first burn with this stove so it's doing quite well so far it does have a side glass as you can see there My choice of wood today was quite limited so it's got a lot of soot because of the wet I had to use a lot of cedar kindling and that produces a lot of black smoke so you don't have the best view I do have a protective fire mat down here really thick is what I use underneath of my fire pit on my patio I just folded it up until I can get a smaller one from inside the tent here so we'll take a look on the outside now. You can see this does have doors that both fold back. There's the front shot of it. You've got really thick guy outline with stainless steel hardware and nails going all the way around the outside. You got really thick shock cord here that keeps this down over top of this zipper so no water is going to get in there either. And then you've got thick tent stakes right here. They're stainless steel with grommets and then a rubber or a PVC tab that sticks out. So you've got a really good ventilation. Here's a shot up underneath 
where the vents are, you've got these rain caps on it. No water leaked in here. No water leaked around here. I don't like this design where the flaps are up top like this. So one way around is you can kind of use some sticks in there if it's really windy and you don't want to get this burned. But this heat diffuser should help a lot to keep this plastic toggle from contacting. So I can I can touch this so it's really not hot at all. And I, you saw the fire inside. So it's doing its job quite well. And then it goes all the way around, of course. And as I said, this is a three meter bell tent. They've got three, nine, 12 meter sizes. Here's kind of a side profile shot for you. You can see with that V-shaped, inverted V-shaped pole right there, really gives you a lot of room going out. The only thing I would have rather seen on this style tent is to have two of these. One in the middle and then one out here to get rid of that metal pole. That really is a downside with TP style or you know bell style tents like this is that center pole really limits what you can do inside if you've got a smaller one but with this size as you can see with the stove over here you can fit one two cots in here a couple sleeping bags instead or one person with a couch you know, you got quite a bit of room in here, but two people on cots with gear would be more, you know, you have ample room and you can also stand up inside. I'm five foot seven and I've got a good foot over my head to the peak. So I believe this is, you know, like a six and a half foot tall pole here. So that's it, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick look at it as I test this three meter bell tent from King Camp that I received from Amazon Vine and the associated stainless steel tent stove, which brings me up to a grand total of three tent stoves now. I've got this one from King Camp. I've just got a no name Amazon cheapy one. And then I've got my One Tiger's Tiger's Roar I still would like to get a titanium tent and sell or tent stove and sell you know two of these other ones or give them away or something but for now I can just kind of set up a little hot tent camp if I wanted to and then another negative of this is these tie back ribbons are kind of thin and flimsy unfortunately I'd like to see these a lot thicker and stronger I have a feeling like these are going to come, maybe not rip out, but get worn out a lot sooner than they should. But other than that, there's just a couple thread ends here and there, which is surprising because King, King Camp has some quite expensive gear as far as tents go and bell tents go. But you can get a nice tight pinch, pitch with it. It is quite windy today and I haven't had any any issues with it so we'll cut this one off now i'm chesapeake this is chesapeake hammock and outdoors i'll see you guys next time